Hello everybody. In the last video, I spoke of feathers and what was needed to have healthy feathers. In this particular video, and it's all about the anatomy of a pigeon, I'm going to talk about the blood. This is a very important video if you race pigeons because part of this video is going to explain why pigeons perform better at a certain time of their life cycle. So please watch the entire video. Give it a like. If you can, subscribe, and if you have a question, don't be afraid to ask it. I'll do, do my best to translate it and answer it. Now, the blood has a lot of components to it. Hemoglobin, white corpuscles, fibrin, and all of these things have a special function. The white corpuscles, they're very elastic and they can change their shape. And as they go through the body, they could pick up bacteria and germs and all the impurities in the blood and carry it off, I think, to the spleen. Then you have fibrin. Fibrin is invisible. You can't see it. But once you cut yourself or nick, pigeon nicks itself or bleeds, the fibrin is what causes it to clot. Then you have the hemoglobin. Hemoglobin is what carries the oxygen to the muscles of your pigeons. Now it's important to understand that that increases at certain times. When a pigeon gets broody, sitting on eggs, it will increase. And that allows the pigeon more endurance. So that's what's important about the blood, especially the blood. There are times when the pigeon is better than other times. We've all heard of a hen sitting on nine day eggs, how they perform. Well, that's because the hemoglobin increases. Okay. I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you have a question, ask it. I'll answer it. I'll even translate it. If you speak another language, I'll do my best to answer it. I've flown pigeons for a lot of years, and I know a lot about them. And I was a very successful flyer. And if you subscribe to these videos, you will be one too. Thank you for watching.